This little critter is a cone snail, a deadly marine predator. Predator, I hear you ask. Indeed. Despite his lack of fangs or claws or speed, this little guy is a highly effective killer. For one reason, venom. The first recorded human fatality was in the 18th century, and there have been several since then. My research is focused on looking at a specific class of compounds found in this venom, a class known as conotoxins. Now, I'm from the Faculty of Pharmacy, and my lab is devoted to opening new avenues for drug discovery. It might seem a little counterintuitive to expect a beneficial drug to come from a harmful toxin, but there's method to the madness. Toxins and medications are closer than you might think. When you take a medication, you're getting a chemical into your body to alter the way it functions. Generally, it does this by binding to a specific cellular target and altering its activity. Maybe slowing it down, maybe stopping it working altogether, maybe making it work harder. Toxins work the same way, and there are two important qualities that are hallmarks of both good drugs and good toxins. The first is potency, the second is selectivity. If a compound is potent, it means that a small amount has a large effect. You don't want to have to take a pill the size of a football, and the snail doesn't want to produce a ton of venom to paralyze one fish. The more potent the compound, the better. Point number two, selectivity. For every possible target in your cells, there are several other targets that are very similar. A compound with low selectivity will bind to these similar targets and produce side effects. You don't want that, so the more selective the compound, the better. Conotoxins are interesting because they are both highly potent and highly selective. At least the ones we've looked at so far have been, and there's a point. Scientists worldwide have currently investigated about 5,000 out of half a million. This is an area with a vast potential for new and interesting effects. Emphasis on new. There are several diseases that currently have no effective treatment, but by analyzing new compounds and going down new pathways, we might be able to change that. Indeed, venom-derived therapeutics have already made an impact in fields as diverse as chronic pain, autoimmune disorders, and diabetes. For my project, I am systematically producing and testing conotoxins, looking for new modes of action. When I find something interesting, the focus can then switch into enhancing that compound and making a better drug. And in time, as well as being able to kill you, this little guy could help save your life.